Hey guys, it's Heather from Kale of a Plan, and today I am reviewing a product that I got for my birthday, and this is the Canon Selfie. It is the CP1300 model, and this is what Matthew gave me for my birthday. This printer prints photos, and so I'm going to be using it for my memory planner, and I'm obsessed with it. And so I just got it like three days ago, two days ago, something like that. But I've already had a tons of people ask me to do a review on it. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of how it works, how I'm going to be using it, and how it works for memory planning. So um, the first thing is this screen here pops up and down, and it's like the menu screen. Over here on the side, this is where the ink goes, and this brown button is the eject button. So you can eject it. This is the ink cartridge. You can get two packs. It's like a pack you can get on Amazon or at Best Buy and it has two ink cartridges and 108 pages of photo paper and so that's what I use you just pop it in and then you close it and then this here you pop this down and this is where you put the paper in so the paper it's like this little tray here and you can put 18 sheets of paper photo paper in at a time and it's a four by six and so then you just open it up and this kind of catches the paper once it prints and so you just pop it in down here so that it's like that okay and so then you pop this up you hold I'm gonna leave it down just so you guys can see the screen but you hold it down until the Canon button pops up and while that's turning on I'm gonna show you guys I've talked about this app before but I'm gonna show you guys again um, I use an app it's just called photo collage and sorry the printers making noises but it's just called photo collage let me stand up so I can be sure you guys see it and it's right here it's on the iPhone I don't think it's on Android it's just on iPhone and so this is the app that I use to make photo collages because if you put four pictures onto a four by six then when you cut it it will fit perfectly um, in your app so I'm gonna click moments and I'm just gonna choose four pictures that I know I will want that's actually five so I'm actually going to I only want four I don't know if you can go back down so that's one thing you have to pay attention to how many you're choosing because if you choose too many you have to close the app and basically start over again there may be another way to do it but I really don't know so I'm gonna close the ad out and I'm gonna click four photos so one two three four that's four photos and then I'm gonna click this top one where they're in a grid then I'm gonna click where it says ratio, and I'm gonna scroll all the way over and click four by six. And then I'm gonna click borders, and I'm gonna take the borders all the way down. Then you can just adjust the photos to where you want them, zoom in or zoom out, click save, and then it has saved it to your camera roll. And so then, now that this is on, on I have been printing, it's Wi-Fi compatible where you can connect your phone to your printer through the Wi-Fi, so that's how I've been doing it. I know that there's also an app, a Canon selfie app that you can use to print your photos. I haven't used it yet because the Wi-Fi has been working really well for me. So what you do is you just click the Wi-Fi button and then I want to enable it, so I click OK. And then via Wi-Fi network, connect with previous settings and I'm gonna click OK, because then it will connect to Calcasa, which is the name of our Wi-Fi. Okay, and so now it's connected, and so then I just go to my photo that I just made, the collage. I'm gonna click this button here where the square with the arrow in it, and then I'm gonna scroll over until I get to print. I'm gonna click print. I'm gonna click select printer. It's looking for printers. What? It didn't, okay, so it didn't pull up, so we're gonna click Wi-Fi, enable, yes, yes okay it says it's connected oh it's because my phone's not on wi-fi duh heather that would probably help so i've now connected my phone to wi-fi and then now i'm going to click print and then you see here that it pulls up canon selfie you you probably need to connect your phone to wi-fi too then you click print and then once you click print then over here the screen will change and it will say busy. You see where it says busy? And so then that's how you know that it's printing. And so you just have to wait. It takes a couple of seconds for the photo to go from your phone to your printer. All right, so you can hear that it is starting to print now. 
And when it starts printing, it actually is going to run the picture through your printer, um, I think four times total. And so the first time when it comes through, and it'll tell you on the screen, it's doing the yellow part of the image. So it will come through yellow, and then it's going to pull it back through, and then it's going to tell you on the screen purple. And so then it's going to come back through, and it's doing that red purple kind of tone. And then it's going to pull it back through. And then it's going to tell you blue. Then it's going to come back through showing you blue. Look how pretty it is. Then it's going to pull it through one more time. And I guess the last one is maybe like a clear coating that it's doing. And so then when the clear coating comes through, your photo will be finished. And it pops your picture out just like that awesome right and so then you can just pop off the tops these are perforated edges so you just pop them off then you can grab a pair of scissors or your paper cutter trim these and they will fit right in your memory planner so that is how i am using the canon selfie for my memory planning now and I will link a can the Canon selfie that you can get on Amazon in the description in case you want to get one for yourself. I love it. It's amazing. So if you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.